All right, Billy D out here at our Nighthawks RC build, and we're gonna get our uh, runway 600 foot of it resealed, get all the cracks. See, there's some cracks that got fixed, but they're gonna need resealed better. So we're gonna get all 600 foot of it done, and now we're out here doing some weed whacking. We're silly and got a guy out there right now. It looks like he's using some machine that grinds out the, all the dirt and everything from the cracks. Yeah, see, I show up, they're still My in the runway. Broke down. Yep. They don't get me involved. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm over here, I show up to see how they're doing sealing the cracks. I show up and the radiator blows up on the sealer machine. My luck. See, look. Dripping water. Well, I'm the radiator. My luck. <laughs> well, day three, I just got here. Last Yesterday when I got here, their radiator blew up on the, the sealer machine. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go over and see what's going on. I hope we can see this. It looks like a spider web. All these cracks, these guys are doing a kick butt job here. I don't want to step in it, I'll get stuck. They're gonna come back in about an hour and a half or, yeah, about two hours and uh, put the, the seal coat down. And I'll come back. It, it won't take them long, he said. He sprays it with a big long bar. I just firing up the sealer machine. Brand new machine back there. They just got it. They didn't want to it. And they're gonna start here. The wind's coming right in my face. So they're gonna spray facing this way so they don't get wet all blown in the face. The dude's down there uh, blowing it off as soon as he gets on. He's gonna start spraying. It shouldn't take him long. There he goes. Don't be shy with that filler now. Look at that nice. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> well, right in my face. I think I feel little dots, sprinkles of that uh, sealer coming down at me. Take a look at them. I do feel a little bit of water. I hope that's not black tar stuff hitting me. <laughs> and some paint and we get to put our own lines on here. I guess it's a pretty good machine. Uh, a couple of us are gonna map out what kind of uh, scheme we want to do on the on the stripes and we're gonna stripe the whole uh, whole gig ourselves. All right Billy D we're putting the stripes down today. Use the trailer. There's the guys on there. I already put the white stripe or the yellow stripe down. <clears throat> to look pretty straight guys I hope it is. It's as straight as I'm ever gonna get it. Um, we have white paint now. We're going to do the sides in white. We'll see how much we have. We're going to try to get both sides striped in white and maybe a return road. All right, Billy D, we're putting stripes down. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>
All right, we're all done here at the Nighthawks RC Club. We got a, I put in a, or we put in a return road on both sides. As you can see on that side also. Yellow line's done. We did an edge line out there in white. Ran out of paint right at the end. I don't know, the, I think I got the center line pretty decently straight. Let's look at it this way. Straight enough. I usually land this side, this side, or this way. <laughs> um, this line here came out all right. You can see one little mistake I made in it. As you can look down there, you see that little wave out down there, right there? That's when I was trying to dig the camera out of my pocket. <laughs> Otherwise, it come out pretty good. Uh, Billy D here at our Nighthawks RC Club with our brand new sealed runway by our friends at Everbright who actually donated the paint and the machine for me to paint it, for us to paint it. And this is Billy D. Hopefully we see you here at our Huck Fest and our um, our jet rally here coming up this weekend.